I am comparing a known inked fingerprint to a latent impression. Even though we are a very small division, uh, we help a huge community. We're, we're one of the largest departments and we have one of the smallest labs and we help exponentially really. We're serving prosecutors, we're serving detectives, um, CSIs, CSSs, and we make a huge contribution. I mean, I think that our work is, is priceless really. We process evidence. Uh, for fingerprints, we call them latent impressions, and we compare those latent impressions to known inked prints. The types of technology that we have today that we didn't have 30 years ago when this lab was here um, is, is huge. We're doing so much more, we're expected to do a lot more, and I think that with the training expertise that we've gotten, we're able to fulfill that. And when we can come to them and say, uh, you know, we got a hit on your case, and here's other 30 cases that you had that with the same fingerprint in all of them, you know, that, that's huge for them. And I don't think you can put a price on that. So this is actually one of those jobs that you never know what's going to happen day to day. It's, it's, you know, one day might be doing comparisons, another day might be doing all APHIS, another day is, is going out to a crime scene. We have hundreds and hundreds of hours. We've gone to professional academies. We've worked along with other forensic scientists and criminals in the field. And really, I think to be in this field, you have to love what you do. Say, how can we learn from this? What can it teach us? How can we work this seed and get the best information out of it possible? So you have to have someone who can kind of step back and say, yes, that's bad, but how can I help the victim here? There are certain aspects of what I do that I would never be able to do in any other area and um, what I do is a lot more detail oriented. So I'm able to spend a lot of time, able to focus my attention on something that's really minute. You know, forensics has grown hugely and we do some amazing things here. We have a lot of capabilities. Um, you know, television shows have really added to our level of expertise, I think. I mean, it's, it's let people know, kind of give them a, a peek into our world. That means for us that we have to go through and, and look at our evidence and try to determine, you know, is it good enough? Can it be searched into a system? You know, they'll, they'll see these shows and they say, hey, well, you know, we're working on a database right here and you ran it through and there's a hit of Joe Blow and here's his current location and go get him right now. And so, you know, it's not as, as simple as that. We actually do submit our fingerprints to a database. We do get candidate lists, but it's not just one person. You know, there'll be maybe 30 or 50 people and you have to have trained latent examiner to go through and be able to analyze these prints and analyze their candidates, do one-on-one -on side-by-side -side comparisons to determine whether or not they're of any value. We actually bring an expertise that, that wouldn't otherwise be available to the, to the citizens of Boise. And it makes me feel good to be able to actually go out there and do something behind the scenes that is really going to make a difference and help. Okay, this ridge is splitting and then this is the direction that it's splitting. One of the things that I can actually honestly say is I know I have made a difference and that makes me feel extremely good inside.